Wow. The Place Beyond the Pines is a movie that stars Ryan Gosling, Bradley Cooper, Eva Mendes, Rose Byrne, Ray Liotta, Dane DeHaan, a bunch of great actors in this movie. And to be honest about the story, I don't want to say, uh, I just don't want to say anything about it, but I'll give you a little something just so you can have an idea. It's a crime drama that has Bradley Cooper as a cop and Ryan Gosling as an outlaw of sorts. Their paths cross and things happen that cause a giant amount of ripple effects in their lives and that's as far as I'm going because that just that should be enough for you having these guys in the movie together and the director of Blue Valentine that was a fantastic movie and this movie I had high hopes for it the trailer was amazing I thought it looked so beautiful I thought all the actors in the movie looked fantastic and I completely and 100% loved the place beyond the pines as I said before there's a huge amount of talent in this movie Ryan Gosling is fantastic in this movie he plays an outlaw and he's just so perfect in this role because he's trying to help people out, uh, but yet he's doing it in a way that really shouldn't be done because he's breaking the law. And then you have Bradley Cooper as a cop whose path crosses with Ryan Gosling. I would say Bradley Cooper is the quote-unquote main character of the movie because he has the most screen time, even though he's not in the first act all that much, but nevertheless, he had a huge amount of screen time from then on. And Bradley Cooper in this movie, he's so good in this movie. This is by far his best performance in my opinion better than Silver Linings Playbook. I thought that movie was overrated, to be honest. But this movie, he is so good. He's such a realistic character. He's smart. He knows what he's doing. And towards the end of the movie, he he gets so... It's such a good performance, right? I don't want to say anything, but it's so good. <laughs> then you have Rose Byrne and Eva Mendes and Ray Liotta. They're all very good in the movie as well. And then you have Dane DeHaan, who I know from Chronicle, and he was in Lawless last year as well. He is, he's going to be a star, I can tell. He's going to be Harry Osborn in The Amazing Spider-Man 2. This guy is so good. He is so good in this movie especially. I feel like he might get stereotyped as like these damaged kids, or as long as he can stay a kid, but he's just so good in that type of role. I thought he was perfect in this movie for what he had to do, and his character was so interesting yet tragic. Now, Derek C.M. France, I butchered that, but he directed <laughs> Blue Valentine, he directed this movie, and it tells. I love the way he directs this movie, the visuals on screen, the cinematography is beautiful, there are some amazing shots that are... <laughs> I don't want to say too much, but there's some great imagery that just... There are some connecting visuals in different parts of the movie, and I'm tr really trying not to say anything, because I really want you to go in not knowing anything about this movie, or as little as possible, because you will have a better time if you don't know as much going in. But seriously, cinematography some of the best I've seen in years. I don't know if the director wrote the movie, but to whoever wrote the movie, it was fantastic. The way this movie just goes about itself. It's just such a different type of way to tell a story. Because in the first act, it's kind of more of a crime thriller. Then in the second act, it's more of a criminal courtroom type thing almost. And then in the third act, it just goes, it goes somewhere else. I don't want to say anything about the third act because I feel like I would spoil something. But just the way this movie plays out, it changes direction so much. Like the twists, I don't want to say they're twists, but how it handles each act I thought was so perfectly done and the first act I thought was very well done I was enjoying it a lot then the second act when Bradley Cooper really got into the story I thought was fantastic it really brought the movie up to another level and I was so interested in what was going on on screen then the third act it was just so tense I was just sitting in my seat almost fidgeting the whole time because I was really worried about what was gonna happen and oh, it was such a fantastic finale. Seriously, go out and see this movie if you're in New York or Los Angeles or just hope that it comes to your area soon. I really hope they expand this movie because this is a movie that needs to be seen, not garbage like the host. I'm going to give Place Beyond the Pines an A+. I honestly don't. I think that might be the first time I've done it since I introduced this rating to a new release, so... 
awesome. The performances, the cinematography, the way the story is told, everything on screen is so interesting. And yes, it is a little bit depressing, kind of like Blue Valentine, but it's realistic, so I just, I loved it. And that's the end of that. Go see this movie, please. So if you have seen Place Beyond the Pines, what did you think of it? Did you enjoy it? Did you not enjoy it? If you've seen Blue Valentine, did you like it or did you just think it was really depressing? Write your beautiful comments down there and tell me what you think. And if you like this video, hit that subscribe button down there. Because if you don't, well, I'll still give you stuff.